So I'm going to show you how to set date and time on the next. If you have the plus or accelerated model, or indeed if you've upgraded your base model with the RTC. So we're going to go to the command line and I'm just going to erase whatever configuration I currently have in my RTC. And the command for that is dot time and then it's minus di. So the time is now gone. If I check time, you'll see no valid signature found. So to set the time, we use the same command, dot time, and in quotes, we put the hours, minutes, and seconds separated by colon, ending in quotes. So the time is now set. And for date, it's a similar thing, dot date, and in quotes, we put the days slash month slash year end quotes so that date time is now set within the RTC and that date time will be preserved through reboots and then all of your file date time stamps will be correct now I'm going to talk about uh, setting the time through a time server using the NXTP protocol, which is next time. And this relies on having the ESP Wi Fi module, which you'll get in the plus accelerated versions, or you may have added one to your base next. So we're going to go into the command line here, and the command we're going to run is dot NXTP. And there's the help, it shows you the syntax. And there's a URL there which shows you what to type in for whichever particular time zone you happen to be in. And it will default to UK time if you don't supply that minus Z. So I'm going to set my time up now with .nxtp, the name of the time server, which the one I'm using is time.nxtel.org. And then it's the port number that the time service is listening on, which is 12300. And I'm going to set the time zone anyway, um, even though I don't have to, because as I say, it will default to the UK. Minus Z equals, and then it's GMT. Press enter, and it will show you the initializing Wi-Fi, getting GMT, and there is the time, and that is now set. Job done. When you look on the main menu now, you'll see at the bottom of that box the date and the time. So now we can do something really funky, having the next setting the time automatically on every boot. So if we go to the command line, and we're going to type in a new program, 10.nxtp time.nxtel.org. It's the same command, same syntax as uh, we used before. So that's line 10. And then 20 arrays. And then we're going to save that program to the autoexec.bas within c colon slash next zxos. Slash autoexec.bas. And at the end of that, we stick line 10. Okay, so that's now saved. And if we reboot the next, you'll see very briefly flashing up the time being set before the main menu comes up. If you don't want that to run, hold down the break key as you're booting up but it has to be after the post screen, so the screen that shows you the ZX Spectrum next words, etc. And as you can see there, I've just done it there, held down break, rebooted, and it didn't run. Rebooted again, without break, and as you can see, it ran. The reason for the erase command on line 20 is so that the autoexec bass is wiped from memory, 